Hello everybody, hello. Welcome to the British Bookworm. I am Gavin. On my channel, I'm aiming to read 1,000 books and review each one, telling my viewers what I thought, learn, and my takeaways. On today's review, we are having a look at Footwork Wins Fight by David Christian. This is a book I've read three times and I am studying it quite in depth to help improve my own skill set and fight knowledge. David Christian has a fabulous YouTube channel, The Model Martial Artist, which I will link down in the description below for you. It is an amazing fight study YouTube channel. I highly recommend it. Footwork is likened to the religious. Everybody preaches it, but very few actually live by it. You will hear people boast or talk about it with buster and confidence, but they haven't drilled it. They haven't repped it. They haven't studied it. Now, I wish I had this sort of book 20 years ago. If I had, then hearing the phrase footwork wins fights should have meant, would have meant, should have meant, would have meant more to me. As the phrase's meaning is as less obvious, is less obvious than some people may think. One of the reasons I personally kept footwork very basic was for years I trained only with self defense in mind. Footwork is still important in real-life self-defense situations, but it's far more relevant to sport competition in combat sports. How much footwork can you use in a prison cell, bathroom, phone booth, on a bus, in a car? You get my point. But it's still very relevant, but just needs adaption. Getting to the dead side in Krav Maga, bursting in Krav Maga, sprawling, just be mindful, footwork is less important in real-life self-defense. However, it can be when used appropriately. Martial arts is a journey of humility. The more you practice and study it, the more humble you are forced to be. It's not a choice. Whether you're being forced to tap out or being caught by the same strike over and over, or just, as in my case, learning non-stop to where you still feel like at times you know nothing. As he mentions in this book, most, and I mean the most, the majority of people doing combat sports develop their footwork at best by accident. Only really good schools dedicate a lot of time to drills or study positional understanding of, of in relationship to your opponent. It's just a sad truth in martial arts. For years I drill footwork, sometimes 15 to 30 minutes at a time. I got reasonably good, uh, reasonably good at rope jumping when i could skip for 30 minutes non-stop which is a pretty fit guy along with the foot play i drilled step and slide and various patterns all the times but here i have to admit the gap in my application on understanding was still there maybe if i found a good coach but i wasted a lot of time now i'm still trying to catch up to get my footwork to a point where i will be happy with even with a chronic knee injury nine years on so if you are so if you are into your martial arts combat sports boxing then take it from someone who's made the errors for you don't make the same errors in your teens or 20s don't waste time on things that don't benefit you 20 years ago i didn't have youtube tutorials to learn from you do but you also have fantastic books like this one book studied have always have a, have a way of implanting the knowledge better in your head than any video that's just watched a few times if i could go back with my knowledge i have today here's what i would do this is how i would train a young prospect i would focus on the 50 plus patterns in this book and drill intensely for six months six solid months with hardly any punches and kicks until every pattern felt like a walking step or catching a ball footwork is vital absolutely vital knowing the foundations and patterns knowing when and why drilling positions and patterns until i dreamt about them every night i am the old school though where reps are king where doing something over and over and over again is the way to get good at something not doing a move 10, 10 times, then moving on, but hundreds of times to even thousands. 
that's the only way to develop neural pathways and rhythm balance and delicate nuances this is the book to start and finish learn the fundamental movements in chapter one vital awareness to body stance sub subilities sub subtilities can't say the word drilling chapter two footwork techniques hundreds and thousands of times move to learn it the chapter three strategies and expand upon them the footwork setups preparatory patterns entries and exits go to chapter four while physically during chapter two and get the body positions between you and your op opponent deeply embedded into your knowledge and framing of the fight then with footwork markers cones and sparring partners drill chapter five's basics and advanced footwork sequences and you can use focus mitts, boxing, punch bags, sparring partner, and sort of take turns. Doing all the above will put you in the top 10% of all combat sports, in my humble opinion, maybe even the top 5%. Seriously. Learning what footwork to apply and why in sparring should not be happening by accident. Every fighter should have a deep understanding of how your body position in relation to your pawn affects your strikes, defense, and entry options, among other things. Head movement, feints, small adjustments. This is a fantastic book. David must have put a heck of a lot of time to putting it together. He states throughout the book where you can go and find the footwork patterns being employed by champions throughout the book, all fight footage. A fantastic study option to check what he's trying to get across in the photos. It's an absolute must if you're a serious fighter who wants an edge against your competitors. Chapter 5 gives you clear use of your footwork in both closed and open stances with patterns that work from off each other. I haven't seen another book like it that offers such a comprehensive study of footwork and opponent relationships before. It really is good. It has a few spelling errors in places, which makes you wonder who did the proofreading. Who did it, David? But at the end of the day, who cares? Do we want a book that is perfect or one that improves us? David's YouTube channel offers in-depth breakdowns of the greatest warriors in the ring or cage we have ever seen. His dedication to fight study is immense. As someone who has dedicated in enormous amounts of time studying fighting, I can state that David has worked extremely hard to offer his content and books to an audience. I can state that for sure. It's for that reason I'm giving this book a 5 out of 5. It's a fantastic book. A fantastic book. If you don't want to literally trip over your feet learning real footwork, by accident and waste years this is the book for you for absolute certain don't make the same mistakes i made throughout my time trying to be a good fighter do what works don't be scared of experimenting or being an individual expression is our goal but minimize waste learn chapter four positions really well so you know the nuances of where your opponent is in relationship to you this information is golden. My last tip, learn all 50 plus patterns and variations. Dedicate huge amounts of time to this, but pick three to five and make them yours. Drill them until they feel you could do them impulsively. You see, footwork has to work in relationship to flying arms and legs, both yours and your opponent which is incredibly complex and the reaction times are in the tenths of a second. You don't have time to think which move is going to work. That's why it's got to be part of you. A drab travelling to your face is probably giving you 0.3 of a second to respond. Footwork has to tie in with that response. That's your whole body reacting in that time frame in the same instances. The key is tied in with either a counter or a defensive movement. If you're serious, if you are serious about being a good fighter, then be serious about your footwork. It really, it really is that simple. You can't be one without the other.
period. David's book is a place to start. YouTube is in general has thousands of footwork tutorials on, but that then can become an issue of too much and not enough quality focus. Too undisciplined learning. Focus on one source you trust and master the knowledge through physical repeating over and over again. There are no shortcuts. Drills, drills, drills. Work hard, keep moving. Make your opponent adjust to you. Create angles, know your options, exploit his lack of knowledge. Because a lot of people do not know anything about it that you're sparring with. That's how footwork wins fights. It's an excellent book. One I wish existed 25 years ago. Shorten your journey to self-mastery. If you have liked this video, please give me a like for a future book for a sub for future book reviews to my channel. Thanks for giving me your most precious gift, your time. Until next time, be the very best you can be. Peace and love. Thanks once more time. One more time. Peace.